Apple, known for its iconic and revolutionary designs, has captured the hearts of millions of people worldwide. Apple products have become synonymous with innovation and style. However, behind these groundbreaking designs lies a relatively unknown creative genius, Joni Ive. So let's delve into the life and work of Joni Ive, Senior Vice President of Design at Apple, to uncover the untold story of the man who shaped the future of technology. Joni Ive was born on February 27, 1967, in Chingford, a suburban area in northeast London, England. Design runs in Joni's blood. His father, Mike Ive, was a silversmith and teacher who played a pivotal role in crafting a new design curriculum for UK schools. This curriculum turned out to be a significant influence on Joni's development as a designer. From a young age, Mike would walk down the street with his son, pointing out various street lamps and discussing how their shapes influenced the cast of light. These conversations nurtured Joni's understanding of design and instilled in him a deep appreciation for the care and craftsmanship that goes into creating beautiful objects. Moreover, Joni's journey into design was shaped by his dyslexia. Like many other people with dyslexia, he found an outlet for his creativity through design. His father's workshop became his sanctuary, where he could bring his sketches to life and build anything his heart desired. Joni once shared with Walter Isaacson, Steve Jobs' biographer, that he had always understood the beauty of handmade things and came to appreciate the importance of the care and dedication invested in them. At the age of 13, Joni Ive knew he wanted to become a designer, but he had yet to discover what he wanted to design. His talent caught the attention of the renowned London design firm, Roberts Weaver Group, which offered to support him financially through university if he agreed to join the company upon graduation. Joni studied at Newcastle Polytechnic, now known as Northumbria University, in the north of England. It was there that he was exposed to the influential Bauhaus design philosophy, which emphasized minimalism and clean lines, a philosophy that would leave a lasting impression on Joni and shape his future work at Apple. During his time at university, Joni also interned with the design firm that had been supporting him. It was during one of his projects, where he was tasked with designing a pen for a Japanese client, that he realized the importance of humanizing technology. Observing people's inclination to fiddle with their pens, Joni added a ball and clip mechanism to the pen, serving no functional purpose other than giving people something to interact with. This realization that people not only wanted to use technology, but also to touch and play with it became a defining principle in Joni's approach to design. Little did he know that this principle would resonate deeply with Apple's future products. After completing his studies and gaining valuable experience, Joni joined Tangerine, a design startup co-founded by his friend and former designer at Robert's Weaver Group. However, the California designer Robert Brunner, who had been impressed by Joni's phone concept, approached him with an opportunity that was hard to resist. Brunner, the founder of the design studio Ammunition, was now leading Apple's design team. Brunner recognized Joni's immense talent and recommended him to Steve Jobs, who was in the process of revitalizing Apple in the late 1990s. In 1992, Joni Ive received a call from Apple, inviting him to Cupertino for an interview. Despite initially being unimpressed with the company's product lineup at the time, Joni was captivated by the vision and passion exuded by Steve Jobs and his team. He saw an opportunity to make a significant impact and joined Apple in 1992 as a senior designer. Joni's early projects at Apple showcased his ability to fuse form and function seamlessly. One of his first breakthrough designs was the iMac G3, the iconic all-in-one computer that marked Apple's return to prominence. Ives' design transformed the iMac into a playful and colorful object, deviating from the beige boxes that were prevalent in the industry. The iMac's translucent plastic casing and distinctive design language set it apart from other computers, creating a sense of excitement and desirability among consumers. The success of the iMac catapulted Joni Ive into a prominent role within Apple's design team. He was promoted to the position of Senior Vice President of Industrial Design, overseeing the design of all hardware products. Joni's collaboration with Steve Jobs became legendary, as the two shared a deep understanding of the importance of design in creating exceptional user experiences. Joni's influence expanded beyond hardware design. He played a crucial role in shaping the user interface of Apple's software, 
include the Conic Aqua interface of Mac OS X. By combining elegant aesthetics with intuitive functionality, Joni ensured that the user experience extended seamlessly from Apple's hardware to its software ecosystem. The collaboration between Joni Ive and Steve Jobs was a defining factor in Apple's success. The two visionaries shared a relentless pursuit of perfection and a commitment to challenging the status quo. Their partnership was characterized by intense scrutiny, long hours of brainstorming, and an unwavering focus on the user experience. Joni Ives' design philosophy can be summarized in his own words. Simplicity is not the absence of clutter. It's just the absence of complexity. He believed that great design should be transparent, allowing the user to focus on the experience rather than the technology itself. His designs emphasized clean lines, minimalism, and a harmonious integration of hardware and software. Joni's attention to detail extended to every aspect of the product, from the materials used to the sound a device made when it was opened or closed. He obsessed over the tiniest elements, knowing that they contributed to the overall user experience. Additionally, Joni Ive played a significant role in the design and development of Apple Park, the company's iconic headquarters in Cupertino, California. Ives' vision for Apple Park was to create a harmonious blend of nature and technology with a focus on open spaces, greenery, and sustainable design. He worked closely with architectural firms to ensure that the campus reflected Apple's design philosophy and provided a conducive environment for collaboration and creativity. The campus features a stunning circular building, extensive landscaped areas, and innovative design elements throughout. Apple Park stands as a testament to Joni Ives' commitment to creating not just exceptional products, but also remarkable physical spaces. In June 2019, after more than two decades at Apple, Joni Ive announced his departure from the company to start his own design firm, Love From. While he no longer held a formal role at Apple, he continued to work with the company on special projects and maintained a close relationship with its leadership. Joni Ives' impact on Apple and the world of design cannot be overstated. His relentless pursuit of excellence and his ability to merge technology with artistry shape the way we interact with and experience consumer electronics. Joni Ives' impact on Apple and the world of design cannot be overstated. His relentless pursuit of excellence and his ability to merge technology with artistry shape the way we interact with and experience consumer electronics. His designs have become iconic symbols of innovation and have influenced countless other products and brands. Looking back on his remarkable career, it is clear that Joni Ives' creative genius and passion for design have left an indelible mark on the world. His legacy at Apple will be remembered for generations to come, and his influence will continue to shape the future of design and technology. In conclusion, while the creative genius behind Apple's iconic designs may have remained relatively unknown to the general public, Joni Ives' contributions to the company's success are immeasurable. From his early fascination with design to his transformative work at Apple, Ives' dedication to creating beautifully crafted products that inspire and evoke emotion has cemented his place as one of the most influential designers of our time. His legacy will continue to inspire future generations, and his impact will be felt for years to come.